Welcome back everybody, Iron Oak Sawmill. I'm gonna be milling up some big stuff today. <laughs> Just kidding. Burl processing is what I call it. Um, we've got a maple tree that was loaded with burls and the bandsaw in my shop is just too small to handle anything like this so we're going to process it out here. There's quite a few of them. We're going to just cut them into probably four inch bowl blanks or get a look at each one as we get to it and see what we want to do with it. This, although not a burl, is a very interesting section of the tree. Two leaders next to each other had two branches grow across to each other and grew into one solid mass. So I'm assuming that the grain inside of here is going to be awesome. We'll find out. But uh, get a little idea how we how we go ahead and how we go about processing up small pieces. So let's go ahead and get started.
All right, well, let's get a peek at the grain here. You could see the way it was cutting, the way the grain runs on this was making uh, <laughs> long strands rather than sawdust, and it kept clogging up the chute. But this is you have one cut off of here, cap cut off of here. Then we got this. Not too much in the way of curl or compression figure in here. Pretty plain Jane, and I'm sure you saw in some of them there was uh, insect damage. So let's get this one off and get a look at the next one. Okay, here we got a lot more curl or compression figures showing up in here. Looking really nice. Not sure what you can use these for. But just proved to be way too interesting to let go. So we're going to go ahead and stack and sticker and see what comes of it.
we trimmed uh, one burl off the outside of this one, but one inch slices here. The crafters are asking for this, so very nice curled grain in there or compression figure grain. It's a uh, Norway maple, as far as I know. But stuff's looking pretty good. That one's on the end over here. Now, this one's not wetted down. Let's try wetting it down. just pops right out very cool got another one loaded up got a big old uh, burl ticket off the side of it so I'm gonna slice the burl off for a bowl blank and uh, craft slice the rest of it
small sample of uh, how we process some burls out here on the uh, LT35. <laughs> Almost seems like a lot of work for nothing, but these are going to turn into some awesome pieces of, uh, of bowls, um, different turnings. I mean, those, those blanks are now they're manageable. I can I can uh, trim them down to size what I need in my shop. Uh, we're going to get a, go ahead and get them all sealed up with the uh, anchor seal. We've got some crafting pieces over alongside here. We're going to offer those for sale. We do let people know that they're wet before we sell them, so they're not uh, they're not building something out of them right away. Um, most of them I tell they're wet. They say, yeah, we have a way of drying them down. So, okay. So I've got some at two inches, some of the bigger pieces at two inches, because some folks want some. Uh, and table pieces, others just uh, they want to make small craft projects out of them, so we usually do those about one inch. I have some one and a quarter or one and a half inch, uh, and they all seem to sell pretty well around here. And uh, we'll see if see how they uh, they do this time around. There's a lot of figure in these pieces, a lot of uh, compression uh, figure, a lot of curl, they look really look nice. Uh, so I think we're going to go ahead and I think we're going to process these smaller ones out with the uh, the 362 steel and uh, try to wrap this up. It's getting a little late in the day and uh, we're going to get uh, get ourselves some dinner, I think. Okay? Hey, uh, thanks again everybody for stopping out. 3,500 subscribers. Things are going really well. I'm glad you're liking the content. If you have any suggestions, uh, please leave them in the comments of uh, things you might want to see here on the ironing sawmill. Uh, we'll try to get them done for you. Right now, we are running short on logs. Mostly what we're processing is burl stuff. I've got two or three large ones that I've got to hire somebody in with a, uh, either a Lucas or a, 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 some sort of chainsaw mill that's able to do about five to six feet diameter stuff. Um, you all saw the Catawba burl that's sitting over here. There's a large maple butt log that's all covered with burls out front. And... Uh, Actually, there's two of them out there we should be able to process out. There's only one maple log out there with a crotch on it that I can handle on here. Everything else I've got to hire somebody in for. I'm sure somebody will be calling me for uh, for some more logs uh, very soon. It's that time of year, people getting some tree work done. They want to get it done before the leaves are on the trees. The tree workers have been going all winter long. I've run out with a couple of my friends that have done work with them all winter long. So there's... Uh, no shortage of work when it comes to uh, tree removal or uh, just tree cleanup after a storm around here. So, but hey, thanks again everybody for coming out and uh, supporting us. We'll keep the content coming. You keep hitting that subscribe button and the, uh, the like button. And uh, I think things will go just fine. Thanks for coming out. We'll see you later next time.